Hello everyone, Model Railroaders. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to show any stuff I built or how I did it or any of that fun stuff. But I am going to talk about tools. Uh, YouTube is a wonderful platform, especially if you want to learn new things like we fix the car using YouTube, plumbing issues, you name it. One of the great things is, is every once in a while somebody will share the tool that they use to do whatever job. In our hobby, you know, you don't have to have a whole arsenal of tools to participate in model railroading. The deeper you get into it, though, and you start scratch building and bashing, and you're going to need some tools. You're going to need some specialized tools, most of them. So today I'm going to share just a few tools you may not be aware of. First one is this general pin vise. This is from General Tools. This thing will take uh, pretty big drill bits. I mean, probably drill bits you never even use in drilling anything in our hobby. But it'll also take the little dinky, teeny tiny ones. Like these little guys. And that's one of the reasons I got this. It'll take every one of these drill bits. No problem. And they will. you will snap a drill bit using this. But uh, I finally got tired of fiddling with this thing with the collets and the drill bit would slip or you know the it, it would just fall out got tired of that deep six that in favor of this new tool i've had this for almost a year now and i use it quite often if i'm not using this i'm using my dremel i love this dremel it's a great tool uh i think it's pretty much indispensable in this hobby you have to own a dremel if you're going to scratch build and bash it just makes it easier so that was the first tool Next tool, I use this. This is called an imp. It's a plumbing tool. And it's used for cutting uh, quarter inch brass pipe, or I'm sorry, copper pipe. I use it for cutting styrene round shapes. This thing will cut straight every time, and it's just a great tool. Here's another tool. This took forever to come here. This is uh, JLC. It's a company out of the Czech Republic. And accordingly, it is a wonderful tool. Now, I became aware of this through uh, model airplane guys because they use this tool. It is a razor saw, very, very tiny teeth. And with this saw, you can cut into styrene to make ridges for toolboxes or what have you. It's like that little line right there. That's what they use it for. They cut in between the wings or any place they want to make, you know, the detail pop out. And I thought, it might work for model railroad. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. But you can do multiple things with this tool. You can see right here, there's a picture of how the tool goes together. It's a very nice tool. I just haven't used it yet. Can't wait to, though. Wonderful tool. Let's move on. Ah, yes. Now, if you, have, you probably have a hobby knife. But do you have one of these? This is made by Fiskers. It is a great hobby knife. It's very ergonomically, uh, it's got an ergonomic handle. Has a cap for the blade. That way I do not stab myself with this thing. I try to do it as carefully as possible when I use it. Every time I use these, I always slash myself open with it. But you can change the blade out. This is how you change the blade out. And the blade just pops right out and lock it back in very nice tool I got this at Michael's craft store happened to run across it one day I don't know the model number but it's a very very nice knife you have ultimate control over whatever you're cutting with this tool great tool ah yes the Xeron tools I got a couple of track cutters and cable cutter but these are the sprue cutters I use these all the time wonderful tool just like that's what you come to expect with zero tools they're just great tools as long as you use them effectively great tool and i'm sure you probably know what this is, this is a trip pin plier set these are made in pakistan and for tools made in pakistan they're very nice it's a very nice tool so you can adjust your kd coupler trip pins Again, I haven't used it yet. I had it for a couple months. I just hadn't, haven't really needed to use it. Here is a tool that my son gave me. 
it is a depth gauge and I use it to set on styrene for instance if I want to make a mark and I want the mark to be equal on both sides I just use this depth gauge and BAM I am like right on it and you can also set degrees but I don't mess with that. I got another tool for that this has been very instrumental my latest scratch builds within the last two years probably done with this tool right here this is a company I think it's PEC I don't, there's no markings on it. I tried to get my son to tell me who made it and he said PEC never heard of the company but this is a wonderful little tool for your tool arsenal if you want to get ultra precision like markings this is it these and CNC stuff I think another general tool this is a scribe with a tungsten bit sharpened bit at the very end these are for scribing metal styrene you name it this is a great tool I use it to start holes in styrene also I'll just poke a hole that way my drill bit doesn't wander yeah that's pretty important too which brings me on to this next tool You're probably looking at this hole punch thing and thinking why on earth would you have one of these in your collection well I use it quite often like if I make a mark for a hole then I'm gonna drill BAM puts a nice little dimple and my drill bit doesn't wander had a real problem with that until I thought of this I thought, oh, why don't I just use that works great Ah, uh, yes. Another general tools. They make great tools, by the way. You can find any angle I want with this tool right here. Usually I have to get help because I, I just can't see these numbers and you can't fill them either. But every once in a while I'll pull this tool out and use it. It's a wonderful tool. Very well made, just like all the other general tools. Ah, yes. This is a wonderful tool. This is a master air screw balsa cutter. And what it is, a little tiny knife blade, like uh, one of these little guys. One of the little hobby knife blades goes in here. And the screw moves it back and forth, left or right. And it'll cut a strip, whatever length or width you have set at the blade in this back step, backstop right here. Great tool. I use it for cutting out styrene. Uh, as long as you, you keep it you know held against the styrene like this and scribe and have it you know right up against this it'll cut straight but if you're doing a, like a really long drawn out cut eh, it doesn't work too well at least not with me I haven't mastered it yet and last but not least for today one of my favorite tools this I think is either a leather working tool or it's a ticket punch I don't know one day I'll actually look it up but it has a square tool right here and a square die right here and what I use it for is cutting out windows in on my cabs of heavy equipment or crest carriers or whatever and I've used this thing for gosh about 15 years and I can cut out square windows and doorways, what have you. Pretty good. I mean, not perfect, but that's what it does. And I also get these little cool cut out square doodads right here. That's pretty neat. I put those on my models sometimes. Let me share one more tool because I just got this one. My son got it for me. Ah, oh, yes. This is a Panavice with the tool tray underneath. I own a couple of different pan devices. Three. And this is my newest one. I could put almost anything I want in this pan device and it will go to town and hold whatever I'm working on. You can put guns in here. You can put trains in here. You can put electrical circuit boards. You can put whatever you want in this thing and it will hold it. Very, very good tool. Very well made. Made in Reno, Nevada, USA. Wonderful tool. And that is it. I'm going to finish my coffee. God bless. Hope you guys are full of turkey and you had a great Thanksgiving. I'm out. Bye.